Ultra Magnus' design appearance takes influence from both his Generation 1 and animated counterparts. His color scheme however appears to retain more blue alongside red as opposed to the character's traditional white. Ultra Magnus' introduction was originally hinted in Orion Pax, Part 2. During Orion's research into the Decepticon archives he discovered the file code named, Optimus Prime. However the image of the character appeared to heavily resemble Ultra Magnus instead. Ultra Magnus shares the same body type as Optimus Prime as such he possesses several similarities most notably his mold design and stature, as well as retaining the built-in ion blasters. His unique feature is his most notably his mounted shoulder pads alongside his facial appearance. Additionally he possesses the same vehicle mode albeit with a Dyson-esque cargo hold. Despite the same body type they were never seen together on screen due to Optimus being injured at that time and was already upgraded by the time they meet. Ultra Magnus stands as the second tallest Autobot in the series succeeded by Optimus Prime. After acquiring the Forge of Solus Prime, he utilized it as his signature weapon. This is a notable reference towards his animated counterpart whom wielded a personal, Magnus Hammer. Ultra Magnus, alongside Wheeljack, are the only Autobots to possess their own personal ship, which both were destroyed during different events in the show. Due to his limited time on Earth, Ultra Magnus is fairly unaccustomed to Earth idioms. As evidenced when upon being sent to Scotland, following Agent Fowler's joke, Ultra Magnus questioned what a kilt was. Ultra Magnus is the only Autobot to have lost a limb, hand. He would eventually have a replacement after Predakens rising like Starscream did. As the last Autobot to be introduced to the Prime series, Ultra Magnus has the most limited number of appearances with a total of only 12 episodes.